Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to solve oblique triangles using law of cosines. Pero bago yun guys, uh, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng law of cosines. So for any triangle ABC, where A, B, and C are the lengths of the sides opposite the angles with measures A, B, and C respectively. So, ibig sabihin guys, yung mga letters natin dito, yung angle A, ang opposite side niya is yung small letter A. Okay? For angle B, ang kanyang opposite side is yung side B. And for angle C, yung kanyang opposite side is yung side C. Okay? So, ngayon, punta na tayo doon sa ating mga formulas. So, we have two sets of formulas. Una, uh, ang hinahanap is yung mga sides ng ating triangles. Okay? So, magagamit nyo lang itong uh, sets of formulas na to guys, kapag ka ang given doon sa ating triangle ay side angle side. Meaning, given yung dalawang side ng ating triangle at the same time yung kanyang included angle. Okay, so pag sinabi natin included angle, kung ito yung dalawang S, dapat ang given angle natin is yung nasa loob ng dalawang sides. Okay, so kung meron tayong SAS na given sa ating triangle, so pwede na natin magamit itong mga sets of formulas na to. Okay, so next is we have another set of formulas. So in this case naman, ang hinahanap dito is yung mga angles. Okay? Yung angle A, angle B, and angle C. Yun nga lang, magagamit itong formula na to guys kapag ka ang given doon sa ating triangle ay side, side, side. Or kapag ka given yung lahat ng sides ng ating triangle. Okay? So, kung hindi naman SSS yung, uh, yung given doon sa ating triangle, so meaning, hindi natin magagamit yung tatlong formula na to. Okay, so nakuha ba guys? So therefore, magagamit lang natin guys si law of cosines kapag ka yung given sa ating triangle ay SAS o kaya naman SSS. Nakuha? So let's have example number 1. So solve the triangle ABC where A is equal to 15, B is equal to 12, and angle C is 56 degrees. So, dito guys, pagka in-observe natin yung ating triangle, we have a side, then the included angle, then another side. So, meaning, yung triangle natin is SAS. Tama? So, since SAS yung ating triangle or SAS, ibig sabihin, pwede nating ma-apply si law of cosines para ma-solve yung different parts ng ating triangle. Okay, particularly yung ating side C. Okay, so dito, using this formula, makukuha natin yung ating uh, side C. Okay, so try natin. We have C square equals A square plus B square minus 2AB times cosine C. Okay, so substitute natin yung mga given natin. We have C square equals A, which is 15, plus B, which is 12, minus 2 times A, we have 15, times B, which is 12, then cosine C, which is 56 degrees. Okay? So, simplify natin to. We have uh, 15 square plus 12 square. Okay? So, that is 300. 69 minus we have 2 times 15 times 12 times cosine 56 that is 201.31 okay so simplify we have 362 minus 201.31 that is 160.69 Okay, then to solve for C, take natin yung square root both, ng both sides ng ating equation. So, C is equals to 12.68. Okay, so meaning, 
yung value ng ating side C dito is 12.68. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na nating ma-solve yung ating angle A and angle B. But since meron na tayong given na isang pair, di ba, na given yung angle at saka yung kanyang opposite side, so instead of using the law of cosine, pwede nating gamitin si law of sines. Tama? So, where sine C or sine angle C over C is equal, so try natin isolve si A. We have sine angle A over A. Okay, so substitute natin. We have uh, sine C which is 56 degrees over C which is 12.68 equals sine A so, unknown yung ating A over A which is 15. Tama? So, multiply natin both sides of the equation by 15 para makancel to. So, ang sine A natin is equals to 15 times sine 56 divided by 12.68 that is 0 0.9807. Okay, then to solve for A, just get the arc sign ng ating 0 0.9807. So that is um, arc sign of 0 0.9807 is 78.73 degrees. Okay. So, ngayon, uh, since meron na tayong dalawang angles, which is angle A and angle C, pwede na natin makuha si angle B. Tama? Since ang total uh, measures ng, at, ng angles ng isang triangle is 180, so, i-minus lang natin si angle A and angle C. So, angle B is equal to 180 degrees minus A, which is 78.73 degrees minus C which is 56 degrees. Okay, so solve natin yan. 180 minus 78.73 minus 56 that is 45.27 degrees. So ito na ngayon yung ating angle B. Nakuha ba guys? So let's have another example. Number 2, solve the triangle ABC where A is equal to 16, B is 10, and C is 14. So una, uh, identify muna natin yung different parts ng ating triangle. So as you notice, given yung lahat ng sides ng ating triangle, so we have S, S, S. Tama? So, therefore, to get the value of A or B or C, pwede nating ma-apply yung ating uh, law of cosine. Okay, so let's try uh, angle A na lang. So, ang formula natin to solve for angle A, so we will use the law of cosine. Cosine A is equal to A square minus B square minus C square all over negative 2bc. Okay? So, substitute natin yung values ng ating abc. So, ang a natin, we have 16 square minus b, which is 10 square minus c, that is 14 square, all over negative 2 times b, which is 10, and c, 14. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. So, 16 square minus 10 square minus 14 square, that is negative 40 divided by, we have negative 2 times 10 times 14, that is negative 280. So, pag dinivide natin to guys, we have negative 40 divided by 280, that is 0 0.1429. Okay, then to solve for angle A, 
just get the arc cosine ng ating decimal. So, we have uh, arc cosine of um, 0.1429. So, that is equivalent to 81.78 degrees. Nakuha, guys? So, next is to solve for angle B or C. Since nakuha na natin yung angle A, which is 81.78, so, kung mapapansin nyo, meron na tayong isang pair ng angle and uh, its opposite side. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, pwede na nating ma-apply yung ating uh, law of sine using sine A over A. Then, pili na lang tayo kung B or C. So, let's say, uh, kunin natin si sine B or yung ating angle B. Then, since given naman yung ating side B. Okay? So, we have sine A which is 81.78 over A, which is 16, equals sine B over B, which is 10. Okay, so just multiply both sides of the equation by 10 para makancel to. So, ang sine B natin is equal to 10 times sine 81.78 Divided by 16, we have 0 0.6186. Okay? So, to get the angle B, just get the arc sine ng ating uh, 0.6186. Tama? So, ang sagot natin dyan, we have angle B is equal to 38.21 degrees. Okay? So, to get the value of C, or ng ating angle C, pwede na natin ngayon i-apply yung A plus B plus C equals 180 degrees. So, i-minus na lang natin, guys, yung ating angle A and angle B dito. So, 180 degrees minus 81.78 minus 38.21 degrees. Okay, so using our calculator, so minus lang natin yan. So, ang sagot natin ay 60.01 degrees. Okay, so nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. If you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye! Mm -hmm.